Okay, uh, salam lah kau main in good evening. Everyone. Uh, before we start uh, coming back to this question uh, about Kelvin Bridge, I want to announce that this Sunday, Sunday is on 29th of uh, 29th of November, we will have a mock test one mock test one okay uh, after we uh, probably finish with the uh, content uh, that included in test one okay so the time maybe i don't know uh, maybe at 12 uh, m so this is uh, a mock test uh, for you to answer. It's like a like an exercise, but uh, it will it will follow the actual format of test one. Okay, uh, I will explain uh, how we're going to conduct the mock uh, mock test. Uh, I mean uh, through e-learning, uh, e-learning, e-learning. and then after the mock test uh, we will discuss the answers and uh, remember that we have the actual test uh, actual test on the 2nd of December that's the actual test okay La, like like I okay explain uh, several times the okay, our actual test okay Mm. Let me check. Okay. This one will be on the second of December. Okay. So the chapter one, chapter cover chapter one until chapter two B. Okay, this chapter. Okay, uh, it will be seven forty five p.m. Okay, until finish. Okay, uh, e-learning. That's a uh, test one. So block your time for test one. Uh, we remind all your friends will remind again in the class okay i have already reminded in the beginning of the class and several time uh, and then uh, i don't expect any excuses of missing the test one okay let's coming back to this question okay this question about uh, uh, based on the figure one this is the kelvin bridge Remember that Kelvin bridge is used to measure low resistance. Okay, uh, uh, it can be lower than zero, uh, uh, lower than one ohm. Okay, so uh, based on uh, the question here, the ratio of R A to R B is one point two k. R1 value is 10 ohm and R1 is equivalent to 0 0.5 multiplied with R2. What is the value of Rx? So, uh, resistant Rx can be calculated from the, the Rx over R2 equivalent to Rb over Ra. This is the equation. Okay. Uh, that we use to uh, derive the, the the final equation okay of Kelvin bridge okay so therefore we know that Rx over R2 is equivalent to Rb over Ra equivalent to 1 over 1,000 okay 
and then we know that R1 is 10 ohm okay and R2 is okay. R2 uh, so we know that R1 is 10 ohm so R2 is uh, from this uh, equation R2 is equivalent to uh, 10 ohm okay is it or no sorry R1 is R1 is 10 ohm R1 yeah, sorry R1 is 0 uh, yes R1 is 10 ohm so R2 should be should be 20 20 ohm okay should be 20 ohm R2 should be 20 ohm okay since R1 is 10 ohm, so R2 is 20 ohm. Okay. So, uh, from this relationship, okay, therefore, we know that Rx over 10 equivalent to 1 over 1000. 1 over 1000. Sorry. Rb, Ra, uh, 1200. 1200. 1200 okay rx over uh, 20 then 20 is equivalent to 1 over okay therefore okay rx is equivalent to 20 over 1 2 so we get the answer 20, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 7, ohm. Okay. Then the, and at the bottom here, at balance condition, calculate the current. Okay. Basically, calculate current I, 3. Okay. If Vs is 10 volt, Okay. R1 is given as 1K okay. and RT is given as 1 kilo ohm. So we just because this is balance, okay, balance. Let, let's say this is E, this is F. We know that VE minus VF equivalent to zero. Okay, so there's no problem here. So we can directly find what is the value of VE through uh, uh, VE will be equivalent to the voltage across VR3. Okay, so can be calculated from the voltage divider. Okay, so VE is equivalent to VS multiply with R3 over R1 plus R3. Okay. So Vs is 10 multiply with uh, uh, 1k over <clears throat> 1k plus 1000k. So when we find Ve, so I3 will be equivalent to Ve over R3. So this is uh, quite straightforward and uh, question one, the first uh, uh, top question has nothing to do with the bottom question. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we continue with impedance measurement technique. Okay. Uh, this is a, a revision, quick revision. We know that uh, basically impedance means that uh, the um, calculate a measure of overall operation of a circuit to a current. Uh, so in AC, basically, in alt AC or alternate current. And then uh, D takes into account the effect of capacitance and inductance. Okay. And the total of the uh, impedance is measured in ohms. 
Okay, oh. But uh, it has, uh, the impedance has complex KN real part. Okay. So the complex part is uh, uh, dependent of the frequency. Uh, whereas the resistance or the real part is independent of the frequency of the AC signal. So basically AC signal has a, uh, is a signal, alternating signal that has a, have a certain frequency. Okay, the, so we uh, impedance have uh, two parts, the real part and imaginary part. Okay, and the absolute uh, impedance Okay, can be calculated from the RMS, uh, the, the total RMS of the resistance and the reactance, where reactance is the total sum. Okay, if, uh, if a circuit has a inductance effect minus the uh, capacitance effect. Okay, uh, but we notice that in the AC uh, circuit or in the impedance measurement, so the there is a phase shift between the current and voltage. There is a phase shift, okay? And then the phase shift will determine uh, the, uh, whether the reactance is uh, inductance or capacitance, okay? Okay, so the, the reactance, we have two uh, types okay uh basically reactance is the operation of uh, capacitance and induction uh, to current uh, varies with the frequency so reactance or capacitance is equivalent to x uh, xc or the, which is the capacitance reactance equivalent to 1 over 2 pi fc okay uh, 2 pi the constant f the frequency and c is the capacitance value Okay, or the effective capacitance value of the uh, impedance. Okay, uh, I mean the uh, 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 capacitance uh, value of the, uh, the capacitive part. Where inductance is uh, basically XL, the indu inductive re reactance, uh, proportional to frequency and proportional to the inductance in Henry, uh, or uh, XL is equivalent to 2 pi FL. So the total reactance is uh, basically XL minus XC. Okay. So if we have uh, two, let's say consider two uh, impedance Z1 and Z2. Uh, so each has a real part and imaginary part shown by this uh, equ uh, top equation. So Z1 will be R1 plus uh, Jx, Jx uh, represent the real part of, of the impedance. Okay, plus R2 plus Jx. So to find the total, we have to uh, group the real part with the real values. Real, real, uh, uh, real part R1, R plus R2. Okay, so we have to group with the real values. And then the imaginary we group with the imaginary values. So uh, then we can calculate the magnitude, okay, using this formula. And then the phase, okay, is the inverse tan uh, equivalent reactance over uh, real part resistant, okay. So that here. So the, the, we can get the total Z total equal to Z total theta by the total. Okay. So uh, if we have a parallel, so if we have parallel, we have to use the parallel equation. Okay, so we have parallel equation, we have to break down or we have to expand the equation using uh, like what we have here. Okay, so we have to uh, multiply the top part and then uh, set and then solve the uh, the new uh, denominator uh, uh, numerator part. Z one multiply with Z two, and then the bottom one we 
uh, add z1 plus z2 so for the denominator okay so i think this uh, you you know how to find it okay if you forgot you have to check uh, your previous uh, notes from the circuit theory okay so okay uh, so in the polar or rectangular forms uh, so for example in polar form a is p let's say p1 uh, z theta i think it's not theta it's so it's supposed to be z negative theta okay negative theta which you should uh, uh, that is in the polar form and uh, it can be converted into the rectangular form so basically they are complement of each other okay the polar form or rectangular form so you have to uh, uh, recall back the concept of converge conversion of polar form to rectangular form okay right so if we now we come to a capacitor capaci uh, capacitance concept uh, so if we have okay if we have a circuit okay a circuit with a pure capacitor a uh, pure capacitor okay so the uh, the voltage input okay the voltage input will always be lagging okay by the current uh, the, the voltage okay the voltage input or voltage signal will always be lagging the current by 90% okay by 90% okay for a pure capacitance circuit okay as for a pure inductance circuit okay the voltage okay will the voltage signal will always be leading the current uh, signal by 90 degree okay in phase okay as, as we can see here okay so so the the, the the phase shift is in this case is 90 degree for for uh well, for this one the phase shift is 90 negative 90 degree for capacitor okay so uh in the impedance uh, measurement technique or ac bridge okay in ac bridge uh it shares the same concept or in in dc bridge okay where we have a source okay a source okay and then a, a source uh, which uh, generate the ac signal okay and then uh, give to a, a bridge okay a bridge have four parts Okay, like what we see here okay and if the circuit is in balanced condition so if the circuit is in balanced condition so it fulfill the uh the concept of balance bridge whereas va okay, minus vb will equivalent to zero okay then from that relationship okay we uh va will be equivalent to v okay multiply with z2 over z1 plus z2 and vb will be equivalent to v multiply uh z4 over z3 plus z4 so if we solve that okay solve a okay, one two three equation okay we will get the golden ratio of uh ac bridge okay where the uh, ratio of z2 over z1 will be equivalent to ratio of z4 to z3 or, or other other way around okay so uh, same same concept okay same concept with the uh, okay same concept 
okay, with the uh, ADC AC bridge. Okay, so uh, okay, at, at this I think you can read. Okay, so for example, we have this AC bridge. Okay, we now we have an un unknown value uh, value of Z four. Okay, unknown value of Z what okay, we don't know the the value of Z four. Okay, what is the value of Z four? So if this uh, uh, bridge is balanced, therefore we we can conclude that Z four divided by Z three will be equivalent to Z two divided by Z one. Okay. So if you want to find Z four, okay, Z four over Z three will be equivalent to Z two over Z one. Okay. And then Z four, we know Z two over Z one multiply multiply Z three. Okay. So we know that Z two is one hundred fifty. Angle is zero degree, whereas Z three is two hundred fifty. Angle is negative forty, and Z one is two hundred. Angle is thirty. So if we find the final uh, value, say one hundred fifty, uh, the the magnitude multiply with fifty divide by 200 and then the angle will be 0 okay minus 40 okay because this is divide minus 30 okay so we then we can solve okay well, the value of z4 okay okay how about this uh, this one okay so this one This one. Okay, so for this one, before we can solve, we need to find the equivalent uh, impedance value at each arm, okay, except for the unknown. So in this case, the unknown, the unknown value is Zx. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, let's say R1. This is Z2, this is Z3. Okay, we know that Z1 is real part plus the uh, imaginary. So in this case, imaginary part, okay, uh, is not, is absent. There is no imaginary part, only the real part, which is 400. So just 400 ohm. Okay, Z2, okay, Z2. The real part is 200, okay, and then we have to use the uh, equation to find the uh, reactants or the, the inductive reactants, which is equivalent to 2 pi F L, okay, and F is the frequency, in this case is 1 kilohertz, okay, so Z2 will be 200 plus two pi multiply with one k multiply with the inductive yeah, inductance value here which is 15.92 milli henry okay so that brings us to that's supposed to be 15.92 Multiply one k, multiply with two, multiply with uh, exponent, so we get one hundred, around one hundred on zero three ohm. Okay, so this is in pol uh, rectangular form for Z two. Okay, so Z three, the part is three hundred plus. Okay. So you see, this is the uh, capacitance. Okay, one over j two pi f c. Okay, 
A O we can write as 300 minus J over 2 pi F C. Okay. So uh, if we estimate that 300 minus J 1 over 2 pi. Okay, so 0 0.2 is multiply with 1000 multiply with 2 multiply with uh, so you get 1.2 inverse answer will be seven, okay, 790 5.774 okay so that you get z1 z2 and z3 okay in rectangular okay so if you want to find zx you can use the uh, zx maybe this is, this is z3 okay uh, sorry this is z2 okay this is z3 and this is z1 to find zx or zx divided by z2 will be equivalent to z3 divided by z1 okay so to solve okay we find this uh, in rectangular uh, polar form also for z3 point in uh, polar form then you can find what is the value of zx okay okay so uh in this uh, example shows a serial capacitor type bridge okay so here we have uh, 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 on the top right uh, unknown capacitor in series with unknown resistor okay on the left top we have c3 a uh, fixed uh, capacitor with a series with uh, with a fixed re resistor R3. Okay, on the bottom left we have fixed R1, and on the bottom right we have R2. R2. Okay, so uh, if you can calculate the or you can estimate the uh, formula for each arm for arm one will be R3 plus uh, minus J1 over omega C3. Arm 2 will be Z2 equivalent Rx minus J1 over omega Cx. Okay, and then arm 3, Z3 will be R1. Uh, uh, okay, arm 4, Z4 will be R2. So balance condition, we know that uh, Okay, let's say so. Let's say this part. So this is Z one. So this is Z two. So this is Z three. So this is Z four. So if there are balance, we can write Z four over Z one equivalent to. Uh, uh, Z4, Z, sorry, Z4 over Z2 will be equivalent to Z3 divided by Z1. Okay, so we need we want to find what is Z2. Okay, okay, so, but we we rearrange the equation, we can get uh, this equation. Okay, uh, so, so this is when the, be, uh, the bridge is balanced. Okay. So we insert all the equation into the equation and then we rearrange on the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, so at this point, okay, at this point, at this point on the left hand side, okay, uh, we, we can group the real part with the imaginary part on the left hand side. Also, of course, and also on the left hand side, we group uh, the uh, uh, real part with the imaginary part. Okay, and then we equate the real part with the real part, and then 
the imaginary part with the imaginary part. So in this case, for the real part on the left hand side will equal to the part of the imaginary uh, uh, on the uh, the real part on the right hand side. Okay, the same thing we compare or we equate the imaginary part on the left hand side with the imaginary part part on the right hand side. Okay, so okay. therefore we get uh, these two relationship. Okay, on the on uh, on the top yeah, on the uh, for the real part and also for the imaginary part. So then we can solve the uh, answer or the uh, value for uh, we can get the equation for the real part which is rx equivalent to r2 multiplied with rt over r1 and the imaginary part okay we finally get that cx is equivalent to r1 multiplied with c3 over r2 so this is in the for for, for the image uh, for serial capacitor type bridge okay uh, so this is an example okay so this is an example serial capacitor type bridge so of course how uh, this answer is or this equation is derived is from the uh, previous okay the previous from this slide okay and then uh, if you follow uh, all the equation given, okay, Rx is will be equivalent to 500 kilo ohm, whereas the capacitance Cx, okay, the unknown Cx, will be equivalent to 20 microfarad. Okay, the notice that uh, for this equation is this in, independent of the frequency, okay, independent of the frequency. And then we also have this parallel capacitor type bridge. Okay. Uh, uh, the process uh, to find the okay relationship um, follows the same process like before. Okay. Uh, but of course, okay, you have to find the uh, equivalent here. Uh, oh. For, like, for example, let's say this is uh, Zx, okay? So in this case, because Cx is parallel with Rx, so Zx, okay, will be 1 over J omega Cx, okay, multiply with Rx over 1 over J, Omega Cx plus Rx. Okay. So this is the equivalent capacitance for Zx. Same thing for this on the left top. Okay. So you find uh, the equivalent impedance. Okay. And then uh, use the relationship uh, when the bridge is at balance. Then you separate uh, the imaginary part from the uh, real part on both side or from or on the left hand side and also for on the right hand side, and then you equate the equation. So, so finally, we can get that R X okay, equivalent to R three multiplied R T over R one and C X. Uh, multiply with C3 uh, uh, equivalent to C3 multiply with R1 over R2. Okay. Uh, so the process okay uh, uh, to derive follow the same procedure like uh, uh, before. Okay. Then uh, here we have uh, Maxwell bridge. Okay. Maxwell bridge is uh, other type. Uh, of bridge okay it combines the parallel parallel uh, parallel component or parallel uh, arm with the serial 
okay, serial uh, arm. So basic, basically, the application is uh, to in 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 high power uh, uh, dissipation. Okay, which uh, Q is the quality. Okay, uh, of the Q is the ratio of coil resistant to AC resistant. Okay. Uh, in balanced condition, okay, we can get this relationship. Okay, so how uh, this relation uh, uh, is derived, like, uh, like I mentioned, uh, follow the same process uh, like before. Okay. So this is an example of Maxwell bridge with the given uh, 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 values. Okay, William values. C1, R1, R2, and R3. Okay, find the uh, equivalent value. So here, in uh, the solutions are x equivalent to 1.09k, and then the uh, inductance is 5.1 Henry. Okay, so in in reality, in in reality, 5.1 Henry is quite high okay in quite high it's difficult to find uh, inductance uh, with the value of 5.1 henry except for like a big big uh, antenna or in the high power uh, application okay uh, these are the other uh, bridge okay the other bridge this is called as hay bridge okay called as hay bridge um how this equation is derived we, uh, uh, you can find it in the chapter one okay chapter one uh, i mean the full uh derivation of the equation here okay can be can can be found from chapter one in the dimension analysis Okay, the dimension analysis. Uh, the, uh, the principle is uh, of derivation uh, uh, still the same. Okay, where you okay, uh, find the equivalent uh, equivalent uh, value uh, real part uh, equivalent impedance on each every every uh, arm, and then uh, follow the bridge condition, and then. Uh, find the final uh, final equation uh, uh, using the balance uh, uh, using the equation of balanced condition okay and then uh, equate the real part on the left hand side with the real uh, part on the right hand side and also for the imaginary part equate the uh, left hand side uh, equate the left hand side with the right hand side then you can get the uh, answer or the uh, equation okay this is example okay so uh, in this uh, okay in this equation this is a sample of equation okay sample of equation uh, Figure shows an AC bridge which is used for detonation to measure an unknown component. Detonation made a quick derivation of the unknown value, okay, ZX. And the final uh, answer is given by this equation, okay, in this equation. So, uh, try to verify the final uh, 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 solution whether the the, ten, uh, the the equation obtained by tension is correct or not okay so we follow also the same uh, process okay we find uh, the equivalent uh, value uh, one one by one lah okay, one by one on the each arm okay, and then equates the the uh, uh, the real part, uh, real part, imaginary part, imaginary part. 
I skip the answer and then we'll discuss uh, this example later. Okay, I want to okay uh, direct uh, move on into oscilloscope. Okay, for oscilloscope, uh, basically a device uh, that used to display signals from uh, our uh, circuit. Okay, so in the most application, it show how signal change over time. So you get you can uh, display the output on uh, the signal or of a, on the output that you want to check okay uh, this is a, a sample of a digital electro, uh, oscilloscope okay where the input okay represent a, a, a sine wave the okay, sine wave and so uh, where we from the display we can estimate a few parameters lah. for example the amplitude okay and then also we can estimate the frequency estimate the peak-to-peak uh, -peak values and also the uh, 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 period of the signal and also we can estimate the uh, phase shift okay if we, we if we compare two signals okay we compare two signals okay then we can compare and we can find the uh, phase shift uh, so in general uh, oscilloscope uh, on the grid okay on uh, on the display okay the x or, or the y vertical represent the voltage value and x represent the time represent the time Okay, the time. Okay, so rem remember the oscilloscope uh, measure voltage. Okay, although it can be used to measure current, but indirectly. So be uh, means that in any circuit, uh, we must estimate the voltage output first. Then we estimate the impedance of the uh, circuit, and we divide. Or use the Ohm's law to find the to calculate the current. Okay, and then the x-axis is basically uh, the intensity. Okay, the z-axis. Uh, the represent the intensity. Uh, so uh, the grid uh, displayed okay, usually okay, it uh, a common. Uh, by convention, uh, you can find all oscilloscope have the uh, same size of display. Okay, so basically, uh, it has uh, eight square of division on the y-axis. Okay, y y-axis. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight squares. Okay, on the y axis, and each square, okay, the size is one cm multiply what by one cm basically each square, and the uh, y axis it has ten square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, uh, in this uh, axis, okay, you, you can uh, display the signal, okay, where the signal will be uh, the voltage versus the time. And, and most oscilloscope has more than one uh, input where you can, uh, you, 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 you can display two, two signals. Okay, so these are the precaution. Uh, I think it's not that. Uh, uh, it's not. I'm not going to detail, uh, explain uh, one by one, so you can go through. Okay. So basically, an oscillo. Uh, this is the, the uh, least if you use a analog oscilloscope. 
okay, on, on the oscilloscope. But for digital oscilloscope, basically once you turn off the, the oscilloscope, uh, it reset the setting. Okay, and then when you turn on, it will uh, return to uh, the uh, default setting. Okay. Okay, but usually uh, the digital digital oscilloscope has an auto set button. So, but uh, as an engineer or as a learner, uh, you should refrain yourself from pressing that uh, auto set button lah. Okay, you should uh, know how to adjust the input signal. Okay. Uh, the connector of the oscilloscope uh, type is basically what called as BNC plug. Okay, BNC plug. Okay, it it put uh, have uh, BNC to clip. Okay, uh, or probe. Okay, uh, and then usually we have the BNC to uh, probe. Okay, where the probe. Of the BNC, we, we insert into the channel that we want to in, uh, <coughs> input the uh, input the signal into the oscilloscope, and then the clip. Basically, we attach across the uh, load that we want to measure the output signal. <coughs> so this is a uh, 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 digital, for example, uh, di digital uh, oscilloscope uh, where the BNC is connected to channel 2 and then the clip is connected to uh, uh, this is what is called as a standard output of 5 volt okay, 5 volt uh, or, or digital output okay uh, at I think it's one 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 kilohertz. Okay, one kilohertz. Okay, so usually we we place it to see or to <coughs> calibrate uh, the probe. Okay, that's the uh, there's a uh, uh, there's a pin. Okay, on side on the side of channel one where we can okay attach our probe and then we 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 can we expect that the output will somehow be a digital output 5 volt peak to peak if, if I'm not mistaken and then the signal is about 1 kilohertz or oh, oh, this is part of the standard output okay so and we usually here on the top left there's the auto set button if you uh, usually okay everyone will okay like to press this button lah Okay, the 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 oscilloscope we will set the set the optimize the setting uh, the scale for you. <coughs> but that is not a good practice. Okay, uh, you always have to refrain yourself from uh, pressing the auto set button. You have to adjust uh, this the 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 scale accordingly until you get the optimum output so in yet this is the basic or general or principle or working principle of oscilloscope especially uh, uh, oscilloscope uh, of a cat, uh, cathode ray cathode ray like an old television okay we we follow we follow this example lah. we follow example although the new one it don't that doesn't uh, use the cathode uh re but we follow we we follow we follow this example lah. we follow this example uh whereas okay in general the uh, <coughs> uh on the back side of the cathode there's a heater okay heater basically heat up uh heats up uh, to uh uh fire uh elect basically electron okay electron electron particles the electron particles <clears throat> and then electrical particle is basically a negative in charge okay negative negative in charge okay 
then we we the uh, uh, when it is uh, <coughs> heat up and then produce stream into a cathode uh, basically a cathode uh, tunnel here cathode is basically positive okay in charge so it will basically accelerate the uh, electron particle accelerate accelerate okay and when it go through another part here what is called as y plate okay y plate is uh, basically uh, the <clears throat> part where the voltage okay of the plate was uh, okay will uh, the potential will vary according to the uh, uh, y part of the signal okay y part of the signal let's say for example at particular point let's say t1 okay t1 okay so the this the polarity let's say will be like this now polarity and then the amplitude will be uh v1 like for example at t2 okay so it will change polarity okay t2 this one will be positive the one will be negative okay uh, and then the m value is will be negative v1 okay so uh the polarity of y plate will determine the direction the direction or the movement of the uh <coughs> the electron beam electron beam so that represent the y axis okay whereas the x axis represent the time okay the time they represent the uh, the the time okay on on the screen when okay uh like for example a point where is it, where, where it's supposed to be at t1 or t2 and so so on so when the electron beam hits the uh, back of the uh, screen okay basically back of the screen it will illuminate okay illuminate and show a bright uh, spot at each uh, time instant so because uh, the signal change very fast so it looks like an image to us but basically uh, it is uh, it is actually drawing point by point at a very uh, <clears throat> a very fast time so our 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 eyes cannot uh, uh, use can only see uh, low frequency uh, but at at signal at high frequency basically we cannot see okay that uh, uh, signal changing over the over the time so we we only usually see one uh, set of signal which represent the waveform okay that's the explanation you can read okay <clears throat> uh the so basically on this the 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 signal on 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 the display will show the signal uh <clears throat> and the shape of the graph is determined by the nature of the input if the input is sine wave it will be sine wave if the input is uh, uh, rectangular it will be rectangular and square wave and so on okay <clears throat> so in this signal in, in this in this uh, example it shows this diagram of a sine wave so these are uh, very few important parameters okay for for example uh, the amplitude so amplitude is measure uh, okay uh, from zero to the highest point assuming that the signal is in is uh, 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 the signal is in symmetry you know, symmetry okay uh, symmetry symmetrical so the amplitude is measure uh, from the center okay center point of the signal to the uh, top uh, or the peak that's the amplitude time period is the uh, time uh, taken from for for the signal to uh, uh, generate or to complete one uh, complete cycle okay to, to complete one cycle okay and then it's usually in measure in second okay second amplitude is my measure in voltage whereas uh, the the other important uh, thing is the the peak 
peak is the point from the valley or the lowest value to the uh, highest value. So this is called as peak to peak voltage. And frequency is basically is the reciprocal of the time which our frequency is equivalent to one over t or the time period. Okay. Time period is basically the uh, capital T. <clears throat> For example, in this, uh, okay, uh, so in this oscilloscope as uh, example, so as you can see here, okay, uh, a signal set of signal okay uh, as, as uh, you can see sine wave and then symmetry okay, which is symmetry then uh, we want to measure estimate the few parameter in this case we want to measure the peak to peak amplitude the time period and also the frequency first we need to know what is the uh, scale uh, setting on the oscilloscope okay so uh, on the y okay y axis the y axis this y axis okay the scale is two volt per centimeter or two volt per division meaning for this setting okay each centimeter or each division okay here each division okay okay uh equivalent to two volt okay to vote for each division of on on the y axis okay whereas on the uh, x axis okay each division or one per per division or one centimeter okay the setting is five millisecond so this will be equivalent to five millisecond okay, for each division on our uh, x-axis okay so peak to peak is measured from the highest point to the lowest point okay so this, this we, we uh, have to do some estimation lah. estimation okay we see that uh, how many division uh, for peak to peak okay we we start with the uh, part the uh, with full uh, uh, division okay, for example okay this is okay one this is two this is three four divisions but uh, it is slightly have some more uh, <clears throat> uh, part here okay we maybe we can estimate this is a sh uh, like um, uh, maybe zero in this case maybe 0 0.2 okay 0 0.2 okay uh, uh, one over maybe one over fifth of the whole okay and also the, the bottom one 0 0.2 so or, or just 0 0.1 lah okay, 0 uh, okay. Uh, okay 0 0.1 so in total okay we have including uh, this bottom part we have 4.2 division okay the 4.2 uh, division okay so to find the uh, amplitude we 4.2 division we multiply with the scale here okay to vote per division okay and then we get the V peak to peak equivalent to 8.4 volt. 8.4 volt. Okay, amplitude is just divide by 2. As you can see, this is a symmetry signal. Okay, time, we find the, uh, how many? On the uh, axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have four, okay, four parts, okay, four, and then we multiply with this one, the time base, okay, we get 20 millisecond. Frequency, basically, we just one over uh, time period, okay. 
Uh, so first year, I think we uh, will cover that in the next class. Okay, remember uh, we going to have a mock test, mock a practice on the test uh, next Sunday. Okay, so uh, I think I conclude our class for today. See you again uh, uh, next Sunday.